Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. This is Roger Ambrose, owner of Central Vacuum Stores. And today he's gonna help us with a tricky situation that some of our customers find themselves in. They have an intercom system, but they really don't know anything about it. And they are looking to upgrade it or fix it. And there's a couple things that we need to know. And that's what Roger's gonna help us with today. So it looks like we have three different systems here. Um, let's start, which one of these is gonna be the most common and, and how do we go about identifying it? Well, most of the intercoms that we sell today are replacements for older systems. And this is the most common one here. This is a Newtone three-wire system, and they've used this wire, they call it uh, IW3, and it's a ribbon wire. And it, you can see it kind of looks like a, a ribbon. And it's got three conductors in it. And uh, this, this wire goes back to probably the 60s. And uh, uh, this uh, has been, there's tens of thousands of these systems out there. So if you happen to have an older Newtone system, all you have to do to determine your wiring is just unscrew one of your room stations off the wall. On the back, you'll see the wires connected to that. If you've got the uh, ribbon wire, they're gonna be attached on there. It's just uh, as simple as it could be. Huh, okay. And then... Uh, so what's the other guy we got here? The other one here, this is a six wire system, which is also common, not as common as a three wire system, but they've used uh, this wire here probably for about the same amount of time. This has uh, three pairs, a total of six conductors, so it's a six wire system. And all you have to do to determine if you got a six wire system is unscrew your room station, look on the little circuit board there, and there'll be um, six wires attached to it. It's kind of a no-brainer. Okay. Um, it looks like on each of these, does it have does it indicate with uh, the colors here? Because it can be a little complicated for some people, like myself. Yeah, th these uh, are color coded. Uh, like this one here has orange, uh, uh, black, uh, red, and then red, white, orange, white, and so forth. So oh, okay. it is uh, color coded. Now, when you, they get the new system, you know they'll be able to. Sometimes it doesn't correspond to that same color. They just have to do their own sequence. Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, and what's the last guy we got here? Uh, this is what uh, is generally sold today for new. This is a new tone speaker, which generally is uh, used today for new construction. And everything new today uses what they call Cat 5 or Category 5 wire. That's a wire that's got uh, four twisted pair. And uh, wow. in, in case you have a system that's you know maybe 10 years uh, or newer, it probably was going to have that I, or excuse me, uh, Cat 5 wiring, and all okay. you have to do is unscrew the uh, speaker and count that wire. But uh, everything new today runs off of Cat 5. Okay, so it sounds like no matter what wiring I have, the process of identifying is always the same. Just take the door speaker off, look at how it's hooked up, and then once you know that, then you'll know what's going to be compatible for like a new system or a replacement. Uh, exactly. Now we've talked here mostly about Newtone, but the other big intercom company out there is Music and Sound. Very similar. They do have a six-wire system, but instead of a three-wire system, their most common one is a four-wire ribbon wire. So it's going to be similar to this, except it's got four wires instead of three. And all you have to do is just unscrew that speaker and just count the cable uh, that's on there. And there's there's always exception to this rule. There's a a couple odd systems out there where the wires were run in what we call, uh, uh, they were looped in, from speaker to speaker to speaker. That, if you have a situation like that, you probably should just call in and we can tell you exactly uh, what system would work the best. Perfect. That, that was exactly my next point. If you're still a little bit lost, we have tons of information, other videos, articles, and things like that on our website at centralvacuumstores.com. Or you can always resort to calling somebody like Mr. Ambrose here or any of our sales staff to be able to help you out with identifying what you have and what you need. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.